Psalms 104. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good and his mercy is everlasting and his truth endureth to all generations. Let us enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. So let's enter into this praise and worship now with thanksgiving and with praise. The man is just a vajum with a blagadarin, with a praise and worship, blagaslavi, proslavini, with blagadarin.
вену. И все могу отдать я тебе, потому что ты Господь, который умер за меня, который простил все мои грехи. Мы любим тебя. Мы любим тебя, поклоняемся тебе, поклоняемся тебе. Yeah.
church. Um, um, this song we're going to sing right now is, is, is not just a song. It's a song that prepares the ground for worship. If you listen to the lyrics of the song, uh, the song talks about uh, someone who only longs for God, only wants to know more of God, that's all. And when, when, we, when we talk about uh, praise and worship in the book of John 4.24, it says, God is a spirit. And they that worship God must worship Him in truth and in spirit. So, I want to thank God for this opportunity. For everybody that's in this place. The Bible says, where two or three are gathered in my name, there I am in their midst. So we shouldn't be discouraged by the number you see, but you shouldn't be discouraged by the number you see. What matters, what matters is God wants to see your heart. Amen. In your presence I quiet my soul Then I hear your voice In my spirit I hear the sound Of salvation song Jesus
Last Sunday of the month of July, to have a testimony to share to think of what I love for God. You are thinking about it, or you are sure you are testing Something against my family. Like before I came to Ukraine, like three years ago, twenty three years ago, when I was about to give home, my mom was living in a new hospital in New York. She said she went to another branch of our hospital. So she started the building close to when I was home. And then at the point that I have to come, it's kind of delayed and she stopped for some time. So since I was here, I keep on praying that God will if this is just the only thing that God is doing to me for me, God is going to be God of this. So it's part of my prayer every day, every day, saying that God, I want to ask you to complete that building even before I finish my school, and before I even think of going back to my school. And then, so this week, on Monday, on Monday, I kind of felt somehow in my spirit, I don't really know how, what is happening. So I kind of went to church here, I was there, and I was there. I prayed, and after finishing praying, I kind of feel a bit down, but still yet, I don't know how I'm feeling, but I'm trying to understand, and I'm asking myself, and I'm asking God, that, oh, what is going to happen to me? Because most of the time when I feel that way, it's like something that I've not been prepared for, something I don't know is going to happen, but I keep on praying. 
praying and I'm praying and God, anything that is going to happen to me, God, let me go and pray that I'm not any of my friends, any of my family. And then on the worst day, I was in service and after I was going to bed, I started feeling so heavy. My head was seriously aching that it was hard for me to twist my head or bend my head to my head. I was like, okay. But then I was worried and I slept when I got to my sleep, wake up, and my sister to bed. So I'm towards bed and I wake up early in the morning. Then I saw a message from home from my brother. He said, His glory came in, it's plus one to me. But I never understood the message. I was like, what's this? Then after some time, I, I called my mom and she called me back. She was like, Yeah, I'm going to tell you that today we are opening a new branch of the hospital, the one I was feeding three years ago. I was like, Wow, so I thank God for that. And then she later said, It's not the hospital you know much, but I'm also opening a new house today at the same time. I was like, Wow. Because we are simply living in double. That's why I just get that. So I thank God for everything because God is faithful. But it's the God that says I will not show you. Amen. Thank you, Lord. That was a wonderful testimony. <coughs> our own house, our own car, they are coming to bring Jesus' name. So Amen. Amen. Another testimony. Emmanuel, testimony. Okay. Manny has a testimony to share. Um, amen. Uh, my testimony is, uh, <laughs> is, is my life, actually. I want to thank God for my life um, and for my brother, Yuro, today. Uh, welcome to this place, bro. Yeah, it's, it's, it's good to see you after a long time. Um, I want to thank God for, for Church on the Rock in particular. You know, it has... It has, it has been a church of encouragement. And I, I was just thinking to myself today, this morning, to say if I wasn't in this church, I wonder what kind of a person I will be by now. You understand? Like uh, uh, getting back to how I was living my life uh, long ago, I wonder if I was in another church, what kind of life I would be living by now. So I want to thank God for Church on the Rock and everyone in this place, you know, everyone is a blessing that comes from this church. And uh, uh, thank God for the praise team that we are, each day we are, we are growing, you know. We used to struggle long ago. We used to struggle in some other ways, but right now, because God has taken over as, as God himself, so you can even feel the presence to say we are not doing this for just ourselves. We are not using any physical strength, you know, but God has showed himself to us, so loving God. You know, his grace has been on us, and we are able to, to do things that we don't even think we can do ourselves. So I thank God for everyone. Thank God for Brother Osai. He's, he's a good man. He's a good leader. So thank God for his life. Sister Mary, Elizabeth, your life, everyone. Cherry, Mary. Everyone in this place, thank God for you, people. Yeah. Praise the Lord. And I'm one of the testimony. Thank God. Ah, uh, Rebecca and Divya, you have testimony. You are smiling like you have a testimony. Actually, you have testimony just that you don't want to come and share. So, who wants to share? Outside. Testimony, right? Okay, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm so happy to see some people's faces. You real? Oh, yeah. Okay. I uh, <clears throat> want to thank God for a lot of things. You know, this uh, yesterday I was wondering, um, you know, right now the church is in the midst of uh, camps, you know, which means a lot of changes are going on in the church. A lot of things are being taken away from the church. And some things are, you know, it's like we are in a, a particular phase <laughs> of the summer. Things are kind of not normal, normal. It's like a special, uh, special moment. For example, today is supposed to be a service with a translation. It's supposed to be an official translator beside me right now. But all of them are busy with the camps. So, keeps this service you know, under question. Are we still fulfilling the purpose? Yeah. But I thank God that each time I think about this, God always makes a way. The first time this happened, um, I was forced to translate to Russian. 
<laughs> it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy at all. In fact, I gave up at the end. Yeah, because you know my brain stopped functioning. It's not my fault. But so God always uh, gave me a helping hand. Someone came and then took over the translation. The same thing again last week. I mean, last time we had a uh, uh, three o'clock service. That's two weeks ago. There was no translator, and we're up here already. I was wondering, God, how is it going to do this one this time around? And then, just as we were praising and worshiping, then came our sister, uh, brother Bogdan, and then he took over the translation again. And uh, now this week, since yesterday, I've been wondering, God, how are we going to translate now? Because our translator is already busy, busy with the camps. It's not even in this city now, right now. I was wondering, how are we going to do this? And then I came into the church today, and now I'm seeing Nastia. I said, wow. I thought, well, maybe she's going to the camp, no problem. Uh, she will soon go. I even asked her before coming on stage. Well, now look at her, she's translating. <clears throat> so I want to thank God for your life, Nastia. God bless you, you increase you. <laughs> God will increase you. I know people like you, you are not supposed to be in a place, one place. People like you go places, you stand before great people. And I uh, thank God so much for your life. You are a blessed woman. You are a blessed woman. I also want to thank God for uh, this summer so far. It's a stark difference between last summer and uh, this summer. Because last summer as was, I was very broke. No, we call a broke person. I had no money on me, nothing. I wasn't enjoying the summer. I was just surviving the summer. But well, God still made a way for me that back then He provided for me through other people. I even went to places I wanted to go, anywhere I wanted, I went. It didn't matter whether I had the money or not. But this summer is different in that I have the money. I can enjoy myself this summer. It's something to thank God because given what has happened this year so far, I didn't expect to, to be this comfortable when it comes to having money on me. But God, even though I still have problems with money, mind you, but God has given me the ability to enjoy myself, so I will enjoy myself. And I'm thanking him for it. Yeah. So, um, I want our testimonies to share. Very soon my father will retire. Uh, and uh, also very soon my younger brother will graduate. He's doing his final, yeah, no, younger brother, Mr. Uh huh. So um, he's going to uh, graduate before me. Yeah, but I thank God for his life because uh, God has been using him so much to teach me a lot of things. And I want to thank God so much for it. Thank you for everybody that is here in this afternoon service. I know it's not easy to be here in the heat of the day. But God has seen you and seen what you need from him and what you came here for. And he's going to give you more than you even expect. This is my prayer for you. Thank you very much. Praise the Lord. Okay, in the absence of no other testimony, let's welcome our sister, Sister Mary, for the word of God. Let's clap our hands as it's coming. Good evening, everyone. Why are you sitting very far from me? Please come and sit here. Thanks. Okay, I just want to share my testimony until Nastya comes. Uh, actually, last maybe last three weeks, we were in camp work, and it was very, you know, for me. I was really like in, a, in another world with children. <laughs> it feels like heaven to me, working, playing, and even Osa was there, and even he was <laughs> enjoying like kid. We, we really enjoyed in the camp with kids. 
it's really a blessed time for me. I felt like God really gave me the time. Like he restored me back my childhood and my youth. <laughs> I played and I danced. <laughs> I really praise God for that time. Okay. And this week we are having teenagers camp. Keep in your prayers that about the teenagers camp. Because maybe some people who are not yet repented, who are not yet saved might come. So keep this in your prayers, please. Okay. Let's wait for Nastya. How many of you remember what the topic is? Emmanuel, what's the topic? <laughs> Generally, what are we speaking in church? Grace? Rest. Okay. okay. What was the last point we spoke about? Divya, what was the last point? Not about last week. It's a different message. It's pastor's birthday. No, before last week. Point. Point. Last point, what you heard? No. I want, I want to hear from the 3 o'clock service people, please. So I really understood that you are not attentive. You are not attentive, right? In church. Какую мы тему сейчас обсуждаем? На прошлой неделе. Word shallow, that means rest. Что обозначает отдых? Okay. So, just for, you know, what? We'll just once again go through the topic rest. This is the year of edification and we are speaking about the topic growth. And in that topic we are speaking about rest. Мы говорим об общей теме, которая есть развитие и повышение. И в ней мы говорим об отдыхе. 